your, your, your number one source for all confirmed stories about, 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 about celebrities who just do more stories about and many, many more. more that entertains your stream on Waparazzi. This is Waparazzi on Wap TV. What's up, wonderful people? My name is Elma, and I'll be your TV companion for today. We are live at Digital Training Workshop, Digital Empowerment Workshop, taking place at Amber Residence, GRA Ikeja, Lagos. With the emergence of digital marketing since the 1990s and 2000s, business owners and brands now incorporate digital marketing into their day-to-day -day running of the businesses and everyday life. And of course, people tend to use digital devices instead of physical stores. And that has made digital marketing more efficient and more prevalent. Today, if you're an online content creator, a filmmaker, a social media manager, this is the place to be. Because we have seasoned facilitators who will talk to boarding filmmakers, boarding social media content creators on how to be who you want to be. And of course, guys, let's get in there and get a scoop of what's happening today. We'll be right back, guys. As young people, information is power. If you don't have information, you can't make any headway in life. So why do you need public notice of NG? You've been seeing it on TV. You've been hearing announcements on radio. You've also been seeing it everywhere. Why do you need public notice of NG? The main thing is that it's meant to complement the traditional public notice platform. However, it is a digital platform that, like I said earlier, can be seen locally and internationally. My name is Nosa Owadiai. Um, I'm the media supermarket, the, the promoters of publicnotice.ng, also the promoters of this workshop. Okay, what does public notice um, intend to achieve with this particular workshop? Okay, what we've done is that as part of our corporate strategy for 2018, we decided to have an engagement platform, basically to share knowledge, digital knowledge, with uh, our targets between 20 and 35. So what we want to achieve is impact digital tools on the young people such that at the end of the day, they can realize their passions. Whatever God has given them as their passion, we want to imbue them with digital tools to be able to excel in those areas. So basically, you could imagine life without you having Google. So if I wanted information, I would have to go wrap and sack all the bibliographies that are available in the world just to get more simple information. And I can do that on the bottom of the world today. So we don't trade. We don't probably even appreciate what tech has done, as basic as those things seem today. The fact that I know a lot of you have not visited the post office in over a decade. And what am I saying? Over two decades. We don't appreciate it. It got me thinking. Um, I'm, I actually have a question for you, and it is, um, since the world is becoming so digitalized, does it mean that the physical shops will be run out of business? No, not really. The virtual world and the physical world will only complement themselves. Um, but you'll be able to reach more people through the virtual world. So that's what will happen. Compliments because for you to still get the goods to the consumer, you still need the warehousing space, you still need to build physical infrastructure and logistic platform to get it done. So, the, the, the physical world is not about to, to disappear because you've created the virtual world. There's something you do, something, even if you don't start it, something you know you have skill, something that your friends call you for to ask. Do you know how to do this? Okay, do you have information on like this? That particular thing start blogging about it and within a very short while you find yourself earning might not be earning as high as Linda and Co but you'll be doing very well so what it does for you it makes you a commander in your industry people see you as an authority anything that has to do with criminal they know that oh, let's go and check that lady she blogs about it. let's see what she has to say about this is it a bleaching cream or is not a bleaching cream they will go there and go and meet you become a command for you know newspaper houses how I many of you know lagos housewife it's a very local woman like she, she's very strict the kind of thing she does she's always yapping her husband and her son like 
She's a very, she's a, for now, she's on TV. She sells houses, so she has, and she does a lot of things because of blogging. I need an advice for myself and other budding online writers. So what would, you, what would be that piece of advice you give us to push us? Okay, like I said at the last slide, I have a solution which I always recommend. A lot of people will tell you, write on your niche, follow your dream, follow your passion and all that, but that doesn't bring the resources that fast. These days, everybody has a business that they do. So I always advise that when you want to start blogging, if you are blogging, you're writing about anything, please tie it to a business. If you have a skill, you know how to pack hairstyles, you have a salon, you know how to fix nails, you know how to, whatever skill you have that you are using to make money, even if you haven't started using it to make money, start doing it and be writing about it. Hey, what is filmmaking? General definition, production of films that motion pictures that moving things for cinema, television, or theatrical exhibition. That is the dictionary definition of film. My definition of film is giving life to an idea storytelling, messing with the human emotion. Do you know why that is my own definition? Do you know I'm a filmmaker? I know that this thing is somebody's idea. Oh, I will see what it is, I will see cry. There are different things that come into play when it comes to storytelling. The fact that for me, a particular story didn't wow me does not mean it won't wow another person. And as a storyteller, I, I learned to write for the public because it's commercial so i'm not just writing for myself you understand too because not everybody might necessarily like the kind of stories let me give an example i might like horror not everybody's going to like horror so as a commercial storyteller you have to come out of your own shelf and write for the public so that was what wedding party did it's a wedding party it's an amazing story when i was um giving the corner i was talking about something like october 1st some people October first is an amazing story, but you know some people might watch and not even understand it. But wedding party, you you could everybody can relate to. Like I found October first really serious. That's what I'm saying. Everybody, but there are a set of people that will watch it. I'm like, wow. So if you want to, you should understand that you're doing a commercial movie. Someone just asked me, said he was doing a documentary. He did this. He did. Nobody came to his rescue. Do you know as I'm talking to you now, there are some movies. And stories I have written that I have not produced because I understand that they are not commercial stories. So I'm not going to do them because if I do that, I know I'm not going to make money from them. That's the truth. They are not commercial stories. I did the one I did first because I knew it was a commercial story. There was a strategy behind what I was doing. As a nation, we miss out from the industrial age. We also miss out from the computerized age. But now, it has come to an individual level. Are we also going to miss out? That's why this empowerment program is very important for us and for our nation. Because we don't need to miss out from the digital age. Part of the way we're missing out is people now using digital technology for Yahoo Because that's not the purpose and it's even very limited when you use it for that purpose. As one of the leading founders of advertising in Nigeria, do you think the um, advertising industry can survive with that digital space? Uh, let me say, advertising is going through challenges now. Great challenges. And, um, well, as the world changes, because the global scene is changing, we have to fit into that change. Um, we, we might survive but it's going to be a very in a very difficult way i think you should survive there are billboards um there are so many things that like actually replace digital marketing and stuff i don't know if i'm wrong and billboard we're talking about billboards and everything Every, all these things are evolving digital is evolving and we need to evolve with it you know and uh, if you see what we're talking about people are operating from home you don't even have to do anything again. You just have to click something and something comes up. Virtual advertising should take place. People must um, react to changes. And gradually, I think we will get into the into digital scene. Well, I have been given the honor to unveil the public notice .ng. So, uh, to the benefit of 
the community, the country, and the people. Uh, I do the unveiling, and I will do it in a Christian way, in the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Wow, guys, it's been an exciting time at Digital Empowerment Workshop 2018, and I've learned a whole lot, enough for me to be who I want to be in this world. And I'm sure you learned a thing or two. I guess you did. But this is where we draw the curtains for today. Till I see you next time, I remain your host, Elma. Remain good and be what you want to be. Your, your, your number one source for all confirmed stories about, about celebrities who just rumor stories about and many, many more. more that entertains your stream on Wapirazi. This is Wapirazi on Wap TV.